Because recently I came across with this story that I've been telling. Uh, there was a business executive who was having a very difficult time with his uh, business. It was going down and uh, thinking about filing chapter 11 and so forth. And then he decided to go to a park <clears throat> and he sat on a park bench, his face in his hands, sitting down there and stressed. At that time, an old man came and sat next to him and said, you know, son, looks like you have some problem. Can I help? And so he started pouring all his beans to this person, telling him about all his trouble and so on. And then the old man listened and said like, oh, looks like I can help. I can give you help. <clears throat> so he pulled out checkbook and wrote uh, a check and gave it to him and said like, okay, this should be something that can help you a little bit. And so in, a one, in exactly one year, come back to the same bench, same park, and then you can pay me back at that time. So he left. And then he opened the check and it was for $500,000. You know, uh, and it, I, I won't tell you which bench. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you know, I want to get there first. <laughs> and so, and then he looked at the check, and it was signed uh, John D. Rockefeller. You know, so like wow. You know, so he was so happy, and then he got so much encouragement from that, and he went back and worked on his business. It turned around. <coughs> Everything went well. So he didn't have to use it, but he had the cushion of that money, you know. And then <clears throat> exactly one year after he came back to the bench and with the check, same check, and he didn't use it. <clears throat> he didn't have to use it. And then the old man came and sat next to him. And before he could hand over the check, a nurse was running towards them. The nurse was running and saying, oh, thank God I found you. And she looked at this other business person and said, like, I hope he's not been bothering you. And they said, like, no, no, not at all. Uh, and then, and then she, she told him, like, you know, he keeps running away from his rest home and keeps telling people he's a Rockefeller. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, so... I'm not saying my teacher was like that, so to speak, <laughs> but we all need some kind of support, you know, a friend, a kindness, a wisdom that can actually help us to uh, move through uh, difficult times. And so for me, it was surely uh, my friend, my spiritual friend, uh, who has been exceptionally helpful.